Red Grange came to Wheaton, Illinois and immediately made a name for himself as a four-sport athlete at Wheaton High School. After graduation, he traveled downstate to attend the University of Illinois, where his amazing performance on the gridiron earned him his nickname and an enormous following of dedicated fans. And off the grave, he will score again! Michigan keeps choosing to kick off, Grave keeps scoring! Post-college, Red went on to play for the Chicago Bears in the still-developing National Football League. His superstar status as a college athlete brought new attention to the young league, capturing the attention and the hearts of a nation, giving rise to America's love of football. When he was playing professional football, many of the teams drew anywhere from 200 people to 1,000 people. When he got into the NFL and they played out in L.A., they drew 75,000 fans to come and see him play. What was going on when Red was playing was college football was really, really, really popular and, the, and this professional football had not taken hold at all. I mean, baseball had. And the thing is, you see, Red Grange did all these things in that golden era of amazing people. I mean, Jim Thorpe was a great athlete then. Babe Ruth was a great player. Amos Alonzo Sadek was an unbelievable coach, you know. And it just, the list just goes on and on. And yet, his name, as a college student, was right there with everybody else's. So it would have been so easy for him to become all caught up in himself and, and how great I am and all this stuff. And, but he didn't do that. To honor his name, to preserve the legacy of his contributions to the sport, and to inspire hopeful young athletes of tomorrow, the community that produced this amazing athlete created the Red Grange Award. I worked at my brother's store, and on Thursdays we had Player of the Week awards, where the coach and the player would come in and meet the public and, and talk. So we thought, well, gee, maybe we could do a uh, annual and do a Red Grange Award. We talked to Red, got his blessing. It had to be not only for athletic, but it had to be uh, also education. He had to have good schooling. So we started the, uh, this was back in 1974. And when Red went back to Champaign, the Wheaton group went down and uh, we're down there and I'm on the podium with, with Red and we took the trophy down and introduced it to Red, showed it, and I kept saying, Mr. Grange, you know, being polite and everything. He nudged me and says, the name's Red. And he stopped in the middle of the, his speech and he said, look over there. He says, there's my friends that, from Wheaton that came down to hear me and see me and so forth and so on. And I thought that was pretty good, didn't it? And uh, we presented the first trophy in 1974 to Keith Burlingame, and uh, we're still giving it out today. And Red was really great with it. Uh, it. When we presented the award, we would get on the phone and call Red, and he would talk with the winner. He did that for years while he was able, and uh, it was really great. It was really important to him to give back to the people, uh, the little people, the kids, the people that don't have a ton of money, uh, and to always be humble and thankful for what the Lord allowed him, you know, to do with his abilities and with his life and, and his impact. I mean, he built relationships with so many people. I mean, he made movies, he knew people in Hollywood, he was a broadcaster, and it's just, it goes on and on and on, and whatever he did, he did it with that humble nature. You know, God gave him these great talents and he uh, used them in a way that the Lord would really want us to use those talents. And I think that's what was so great about him. His outstanding career has influenced many. Coupled with his modesty and good-natured off-the-field personality, 
Red inspires future generations of players and coaches alike. It just seemed like there was something missing. Uh, we had a lot of good athletes, and yet our teams weren't winning championships and so forth. At the time, uh, we thought they really needed a role model, uh, somebody that had really done things the right way, for not just as a high school student, not just as an athlete, but as a person, you know, throughout their life. And so we started reading more and more and more about Red Grange, learning more about him, and it just seemed to be the perfect fit. So we developed a philosophy called the Red Grange philosophy. It really gave us a, a platform of how to be able to speak to our players through the life of, of Red Grange and how famous he became and yet how humble he remained. A college bowl game is significant, and not just for the title bestowed upon the victor, an opportunity that was once only available to a select group of larger institutions, community college athletes compete outside of their locality, elevating the spirits of the players to that of what Mr. Grange himself must have felt on game day. I mean, this is how special this guy is. I mean, only two athletes at the University of Illinois have had their number retired. A guy by the name of Butkus, who most of us know about, and then Red Grange. That's, a, that's pretty special, I'll tell you. Um, and people that don't know about him should know about him. And I'm glad this community has, has uh, uh, thought enough of him and what his accomplishments were at Wheaton and at the University of Illinois and at professional football and what he's done to, to name this bowl game after him. I think it's a great tribute to him. What it does, it gives the kids another shot, and you get to see how your teams would compete against other teams throughout the country. And as you, I see now, they've got eight or nine bowl games now for the uh, NJCAA, and I think it's a, a great compliment to the, to the system and to the belief in, in how important these games are. especially at the junior college level, where some institutions struggle to maintain a football program, College of DuPage is proud to host this bowl game, perpetuating the thrill of competition and the value of sportsmanship, embodied by one of football's most iconic figures, the galloping ghost, Red Grange. People were enamored with, with his ability, his, the likeness of the guy, and how the public adopted him as something very, very special. And he's special to football and special to people. I think the greatest story that meant the most to me, he played with Bronco Nagurski. He became really good friends with Bronco Nagurski. And just listen to that name, Bronco Nagurski. I mean, that's, that's a football name, 100%. And just bam, I'm gonna knock your head off type thing. So there was a, uh, a ceremony, an award ceremony, and Red Grange was uh, awarded uh, one of these prestigious awards. And so the guy standing there who was introducing him uh, was saying all these great things, and he said, Red Grange brought honor and dignity to the NFL. And Bronco Nagurski, he's standing there, he's sitting in the audience. And he jumps up out of his seat and he says, no, no, that's not good enough. That's my friend, Red Grange. He didn't just bring honor and integrity to NFL. He brought honor and integrity to the entire human race. Like this.